When an object vibrates, it disturbs the air molecules around it. The molecules carry the energy of the sound in all directions. The sound travels out as waves. Think of a wave in water. If we drop a pebble into a pond, the waves move out from where the pebble hit the water. Sound travels in waves, but in all directions. Here is a tuning fork. When we strike it, it gives off a certain tone. If we could see what is happening, it might look like this. The tuning fork is vibrating. As the prongs move out, they push against the air molecules around them. The molecules push together, which is called compression. Then there are places where the molecules are spread out between the compressions. This spread out area is called rarefaction. The whole sound wave travels as a longitudinal wave. So the sound is carried by compressing some molecules and leaving areas between the compressions with fewer molecules. Here's another example of this idea. The slinky is pulled and held across the floor. We pull together some of the slinky sections and then let it go. Notice that it travels the length of the slinky with areas of compression and rarefaction. Remember, sound needs a material to travel through. In outer space where there are no gases, sound would be impossible. The emptiness of space is called a vacuum. There are no molecules of matter for sounds to move through, so in outer space there are no sounds. Two things are needed for making sounds. Vibrating matter to create the waves and a medium, something to carry the sound waves.